had to be treated. And like most cancer therapies, they take a toll far beyond what you ever expect. My doctors and I had doubt that I could ever come back here and do this program. So I can't begin to tell you how happy and blessed I am just to be able to come here to share this program with you. That's because the Beatitudes helped me so much to respond to my own cancer. For me, it's made all the difference. So here we are in the very vicinity where, according to tradition, the Beatitudes were originally uttered. Just up at the top of the hill is a church that honors these words that some consider the most profound ever uttered by anyone at any time and where they were originally spoken. Now, they're only a brief collection of about 165 words, and it's important to realize what they are not. They're not just pretty poetry, not self-help advice, not philosophical speculation, not psychological counseling. They're not some kind of magical formula to wish our problems and sufferings away. Rather, they are just brief, straightforward, bold statements that press us to ask, do I really want to know what matters most in life? How do I deal with the matters of my heart? Am I ready to align myself with the purposes for which God gave me life? Now, please understand this. The Beatitudes are not a cafeteria or smorgasbord to pick and choose the ones we like. No, they're a package deal. They're interconnected like a chain. The individual links form a unified whole. And where are they taking us? Let me say at least what I see as our purpose. What we will be dealing with is finding blessedness out of our brokenness. To find that blessedness, we'll linger at fascinating places here in the Holy Land where the Beatitudes were originally given.